Hello everyone, welcome back to the video lecture series of electrical circuits and network. In the previous lectures, we have discussed single phase AC circuits and series and parallel resonance. In this session, we are going to discuss various principles of circuit analysis, that is the techniques and rules to solve a given electrical network. Okay. So let's start with very basic topic how to find a equivalent resistance of a given circuit or network. So let's get started. So first we will discuss some of the basic terms related to it. The circuit it is a closed part in a network and the network is the interconnection of elements through which current flows. Okay. The circuit is nothing but a closed part in a network through which current flows. The figure shows a simple circuit consisting of one battery, one switch and one light bulb as a, as a load okay, and the connecting wires to it. When the switch is closed, the battery gets connected to light bulb and it will flow. Okay. This is a simple circuit through which current is flowing so it can be called as a circuit. Then circuit elements, it is any individual circuit components present in a network which gets connected to other component is known as circuit element. Any individual circuit component which is which is present in a network of circuit which gets connected to other component is known as circuit element. Here for example, this battery is connected in this circuit with this switch and light bulb. So battery individually switch and light bulbs are the circuit element. Similarly, the resistance in a circuit resistance or inductor or say capacitor or any AC voltage source or DC voltage source denoted by this symbol again a cell or a battery are the examples of circuit elements okay and Let's see the open circuit and short circuit. What is mean by open circuit and short circuit? The two points are said to be open circuited if there are no circuit elements or direct connection between them. Okay. Suppose we have these two points in a circuit A and B. Okay. If these two points, in between these two points, there is no element or direct connection between them, then it is called as open circuit. This condition is called as open circuit in a when it is in a circuit okay when there is a no circuit element between these two points a and b and there is no direct connection also between them then it is called as open circuit okay then what is mean by short circuit the two points are said to be short circuited when they are connected to each other by a good conducting wire okay S suppose we have this same a b points and there is a direct connection between them like by a good conducting wire this is direct connection between this point a and point b then it is known as short circuit okay so let's see this figure this is the open circuit case where the switch is open so there is no connection between these two point a and b these two points there is no connection and there is no circuit element present in this two point okay so it it can be called as a open circuit then see short circuit short circuit here this battery is connected to this bulb this is the positive end of the battery is connected to one end and this is the second end to the lamp okay but there is a also a direct connection between these two points say it is a and b then direct connection which is bypassing this bulb okay so this is this is the condition for short circuit so this a and b are directly connected to each other by a good conducting wire then it is known as short circuit condition okay and the third condition is closed circuit this is switch is there okay the switch is there and but in it is in closed closed condition then it is, it is known as closed circuit where the current can flow from battery to the lamp to again back to the battery this is this is called as closed circuit this is called a short circuit and this is called as open circuit. Always remember the closed circuit and short circuit phenomena are different one. Okay. And in case of open circuit, the current flowing through this lamp is zero. When it is closed, then it is 
normal one that is a rated one i rated okay and in case of short circuit the current of is bypassed through this ab wire so again current is zero in in the lamp and here the current is more than rated which is not desirable okay this is the difference between open circuit closed circuit and short circuit now let's see when the resistors are connected in series and resistances connected in parallel what will be the their equivalent resistance here resistance r1 r2 and r3 are connected in series with each other across a voltage supply v okay and this is the current flowing through the circuit as it is a series circuit the current flowing through them is same okay the current flowing through this r1 r2 and r3 is same which is denoted by capital r when the resistances are connected in parallel across a voltage supply v so across these two points voltage supply v is applied across these two also v is there across these two points also v is there that means the voltage across all the resistances are same but this is the current flowing through the circuit total current flowing through the circuit which is which gets divided into these branches according to the value of r1 r2 and r3 so it can be denoted as i1 i2 and i3 when the resistances are connected in series uh, in series the equivalent can be written as total resistance rt is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 that is sum of these three resistances okay when they are connected in parallel 1 upon rt equivalent rt is there 1 upon rt is equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 we have already know this okay in series connection current is same so i will be same for r1 r2 and r3 but v is different okay v is different in case of parallel voltage is same but current is different okay current is different so how to find this voltage for which is different for different resistances suppose for example v r1 we have to find then is the total current i flowing through the circuit into r1 will be the v r1 similarly v r2 will be i into r2 and v r3 will be i into r3 volt in this way we can find the different voltages in the parallel circuit current is different so i1 is the current flowing through this resistance r1 so it will be v upon r1 i2 will be v upon r2 and i3 will be v upon r in this way the current flowing through each branch can be calculated okay let's solve some problems based on this topic the question is calculate equivalent resistance if r1 and r2 are connected in parallel where r1 is given as 10 ohm and r2 is given as 5 ohm okay so let's first draw the diagram where the two resistances r1 r2 are connected in parallel so r1 is 10 ohm given which is connected in parallel with phi ohm which is r2 okay and we have to find here the equivalent resistance of this parallel combination we already know that for parallel resistances we have this formula 1 upon rt is equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 here only two resistances are there so we have written this when we simplify this equation we will get this equation equivalent resistance of a parallel combination when the two resistances are connected in parallel will be given as r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so putting the values of r1 r2 we will get 10 into 5 divided by 10 plus 5 okay so 50 divided by 15 we will get this 3.33 ohm in this way the equivalent of parallel combination can be found out okay so let's take next example here we have given a circuit in which 2 ohm, 5 ohm and 10 ohm are connected in parallel across this voltage but this voltage is unknown we have to find this voltage here and this is the 24 ampere 
given. This 24 ampere is the current flowing through this circuit. Okay, and we have to find this voltage V. So, how we can uh, calculate this? First, we have to calculate the equivalent resistance of this parallel combination 2, 5 and 10 ohm. And then, with the help of ohms law, we can find this voltage. So, let's get started. Step 1 is what? Calculate the equivalent resistance of these 3. 1 upon RT is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. So, 1 upon RT is equal to 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 10. We will get this voltage. Sorry, this resistance 1.25 ohm of this parallel combination. Okay. Now, where our given circuit is reduced to what? Simple one. RT is 1.25 ohm across this voltage V which is unknown and this is the current flowing through the circuit is 24 ampere. Now with the help of Ohm's law we can write that V is equal to I into R. So V is equal to I into RT. So I is 24, RT is 1.25. So we will get this 30 volt. Okay. And this is the required answer for this question. Let's take another example or another question. Here one complex looking circuit is given and we have to find the net resistance between terminals A and B. Okay. A, A point is here, B point is here. So we have to find here R A B. Okay. R A B. So we have to reduce the circuit in a single resistance connected between A and B. And this is the question. Okay. So with the help of the series and parallel combination techniques, we are going to solve this question. Here we can observe that this 2 ohm, 8 ohm, and 6 ohm are what connected in series. So, what will be its equivalent resistance? 2 plus 8 plus 6 as they are connected in series. 16 ohm. This 7 ohm and 6 ohm also are in series. So, 7 plus 9 is equal to 16 ohm. Okay. This 2.5 and 3.5 are also in series. So 2.5 plus 3.5 equals to 6 ohm. And this 12 ohm and 12 ohm are connected in parallel. They are here connected at the same point. And this is the A point. So this will be the also A point. This is also A point. And this is also A point. Okay. In this way, same. Similarly, this is the B point. This is the B point. As there is no element connected between these two points only direct connection is there. So, this 12 ohm and 12 ohm are connected in parallel. So, what will be its uh, equivalent resistance? 12 into 12 divided by 12 plus 12. We will get this value as 6 ohm. So, let us uh, redraw the circuit. This is the A point. This is the B point. Okay. This is 6 ohm and this is also 6 ohm. This 6 ohm is here. This 6 ohm is here. Okay, now the 16 and 16 are also in parallel. So 16 and 16. Suppose this is the C point, then this will be the C point. This is the B point. But here remember that when another is resistance is given as 11 ohm. So this is the 11 ohm resistor. 11 ohm. We already learned here when the two identical resistances are connected in parallel, the equivalent will be half. 6 is the half of 12. Okay. So similarly, 6 and 6 are connected in parallel. So equivalent will be 3 ohm. 16 and 16 are connected in parallel. Equivalent will be 8 ohm. And this 11 ohm is connected across these two. This is 11 ohm. This is the A point. Again, this is the B point. This 3 and 8 are connected in series. So their equivalent will be what? 3 plus 8 equals to 11 ohm. And this 11 ohm. These two are again connected in parallel between these two points A and B. So, its equivalent will be RAB will be what? 11 by 2 that means 5.5 ohm. And this is the required answer. The net resistance between terminals A and B will be 5.5 ohm. In this way, we can calculate the equivalent resistance of a given network. Okay. In the next sessions, we are going to discuss voltage and current division rule. Okay, till then, stay tuned and keep learning. Thank you.